I was watching this YouTube video and this guy was speaking about something that I was going through at that time period. And sometimes now, and what this person was saying was really insightful. So I started to take some notes. There are some people <clears throat> who are trying to live for God, who are beginning to live for God. There are some people who have been and still live for God. In these categories here, we have to know that demons are going to try to harass you. This is just the way that things are. We need to fight back and know more ways on how to fight back. We can't just say that, well, these things here, sometimes they just happen to people. No. Don't accept demonic attacks. Don't. One way on how to fight against demons is with your words. God gives you authority over demons when you are following his rules and regulations. So our words have power. Demons must submit to our authority when we are following God's rules and regulations. They must. So let me say this, and this is really going to make sense here. I was interceding. I usually intercede, pray for other people each day. But let me speak about this one day. So this one day, I was interceding for people and binding and casting out demons that are intervening in their lives. And I was doing this for about from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. And I had my eyes closed and I was on my knees. All of a sudden, I start seeing like a raging fire, fire everywhere like in open vision. <laughs> and I am thinking, what in the world is this? And I was not quite sure if that vision was of God or satanic. I believe, I don't know. I have no idea. Perhaps demonic, but maybe God was allowing me to see it. I don't know. So this goes to show you that this is not a game by far. Demons are playing for keeps. And what time is it now? I may have to intercede for the same people maybe this afternoon. I don't know, maybe after I get done doing this video because demons are not playing around. They hate everyone. They want to kill you. They want you to go to hell. Take your family members to hell as soon as possible. They want that. We have to intercede for people. We need to intercede or pray for ourselves. Get demons to leave you alone. So as I was speaking, this YouTube person was saying how to pray effectively. And he was saying what was going on in the demonic attacks
that he was receiving. So what we are going to do, we are going to be proactive and not only listen to me read this, but we are going to repeat some things and declare it over our lives. We are going to decree it to get demons to leave us alone and say this over and over and over again, not only just for one day, but as long as you live because demons are going to mess with you more than just one day. We have to constantly battle against them until the day we die. Until the demons and Satan are thrown into the lake of fire, which is in the end. Okay, number one. Dream catchers and dream snatchers. Okay, let's say it all at one time. This part here. Oops. Okay. All together now. I bind and cast out all dream catchers and dream snatchers. Go straight to the pit of hell and die. In the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all dream catchers and dream snatchers. Go straight to the pit of hell and die in the name of Jesus. So dream catchers are the ones that steals your dreams and dream snatchers makes you forget your dreams. Okay. Number two, nightmare spirits. Let's say it now. Hold on, let me highlight it first. All together, I bind and cast out all nightmare spirits. Go straight to the pit of hell and die in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all nightmare spirits. Go straight to the pit of hell and die in the name of Jesus. Okay. Number three. All right. Second heaven activity against your life. All together, I cancel, cut off, and destroy any second heaven activity against my life. I completely destroy it in the name of Jesus. One more time. I cancel, cut off, and destroy any second heaven activity against my life. I completely destroy it in the name of Jesus. Second heaven is where many demons reside. First heaven is the sky, the atmosphere, and second heaven is outer space. Third heaven is where God resides. Number four, commanding holy fire over your home. Okay, all together. I command holy fire all over my home and property right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire burn every demon to death in the name of Jesus. One more time. I command holy fire all over my home and property 
right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire burn every demon to death in the name of Jesus. Okay, number five, blinding the third eye of witches. We have to understand that witches are not on our side. Witches get their power from demons. So anything from demons is not good. And there are witches that are against us. We have to understand that. Trying to place curses upon us. Altogether, the witches that are against me, I blind their third eye right now in the name of Jesus. Let their works against me not prosper, <clears throat> not prosper, in the name of Jesus. One more time, the witches that are against me, I blind their third eye right now, in the name of Jesus. Let their works against me not prosper, in the name of Jesus. Okay, number six, command an angel of the Lord. Okay, here we go. All together, I command an angel of the Lord to stand guard in front of my home and property, not letting any unclean spirits in, in the name of Jesus. One more time, I command an angel of the Lord to stand guard in front of my home and property not letting any unclean spirits in, in the name of Jesus. Okay, this is the end here. So say this as many times as needed, pretty much every day. And this helped me or helps me so much. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.